I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Mary Jane McLeod Bethune was born July 10, 1875. She was an American educator, stateswoman, philanthropist, humanitarian, womanist, and civil rights activist. Bethune founded the National Council for Negro Women in 1935, established the organization's flagship journal, Afro Americans Women's Journal, and resided as the president or leader for myriad of African-American women's organizations, including the National Council for Colored Women and the National Youth Administration's Negro Division. She also was appointed as a national advisor to the President Franklin D. Roosevelt, whom she worked with to create the Federal Council on Colored Affairs, also known as the Black Cabinet. Bethune was the sole African-American woman officially a part of the U.S. delegation that created the United Nations Charter, and she held a leadership position for the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps. For her lifetime of activism, she was deemed acknowledged First Lady of Negro America by Ebony Magazine in July 1949 and was known by the black press as the female Booker T. Washington. She was known as the First Lady of the Struggle because of her commitment to gain better lives for African Americans. On October 3rd, 1904, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune opened Daytona Literary and Industrial Training School for Negro Girls with $1.50, Faith in God, and Five Little Girls. Today, this university is known as the Great bethune Cooking University. Hello, my name is Chastity Williams, and I have been a part of the Rubies of Elegance dance team for four years now. Trials are coming up March 29th to April 2nd. If you're interested in being a part of such a great sisterhood, please click the link in the Rubies of Elegance bio and fill out the Google form for further information. I've enjoyed being a part of this great organization, and I'm pretty sure you will too. Good luck. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Uh, this is Coach Diodon here at Stone Mountain High School, a uh, new phys ed teacher. Uh, currently teaching uh, personal fitness and also health. Uh, some of you guys may have already been in contact with me uh, through uh, our coursework and as well too around the school area if I've uh, been in the common areas and you guys see me. Uh, currently we are starting uh, a weight training for the football season uh, that's upcoming. Uh, we're going from 5 to 6.30. In order to participate, you guys will need a physical. All right, you can get the physical from your local, uh, your local physician. Uh, or if you have your primary care uh, doctor, you can also get one from them. Uh, in the weight room, it is a requirement that you have a mask, preferably one of these here that slips over uh, your face so that you can breathe. Uh, in addition to, if you would like to have an additional mask underneath, that's, that's, uh, that's fine as well. But however, guys, we are in here from 5 to 6.30, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, please come out. We need your help, guys. Good morning, Pirate Nation. Today is Tuesday, March 23rd, and I'm Ms. Fallon, your grass counselor with your counselor announcements. Attention all singers, please be mindful to complete your Naviance task. This is one step that you must complete in order to be officially checked out in order to graduate. Again, you must complete all tasks that is assigned to your Naviance, including your community service. You do get community service hours for completing Naviance tasks, but the bulk of your hours must come from you doing community service. Make sure guys, if you are in a credit recovery class that you are completing the credit recovery classes and you are making up all credits that you need in order to effectively secure the cap. Again, I understand we're in a virtual setting. There's a lot going on guys, but stay the course. You can do it, okay? Attention to all students, make sure you are checking your Outlook. That is a school email account. That is the best way for your counselors and teachers to effectively communicate with you. Make sure you are checking it so you can get updates on events and what's going on, including, guys, make sure that you are checking for our bi-weekly Wednesday cheat and chats. 
Every other Wednesday, we have sessions where you can ask counselors questions and get information about different things. So please check and make sure when it is juniors and seniors, when is it freshmen and sophomore. So also, students, um, make sure, guys, that we talked about the other day, um, Monday, the six types of bullying. So today, I'm going to discuss with you relational aggression, which is also called emotional bullying. And this form of bullying, guys, comes in a form of spreading rumors. Guys, we've all seen movies and heard stories where, you know, she's this, this, and this, and I heard she does that, and I heard he did this, and I heard he, did, he does that. Without having actual proof, even if you know that's what's going on, it is not your job to share it. That is a form of bullying, guys. So if you hear any information or if you're starting rumors, you are contributing to relational aggression or emotional bullying. So please, guys, again, let's be respectful and mindful of each other and our feelings and make sure that we are not doing anything that is detrimental to one another. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.